Swindon, who play Charlton at the county ground on Friday night in the first leg of their playoff semi-final with the return game in London a week tonight. Well, the ticket office was open at 8 o'clock this morning. There have been some very long queues. The club say they've sold 5,000 tickets already for the home leg and another 1,400 for the game at Charlton. So here are the two semi-finals. Huddersfield against Millwall is the other match, the first leg of that one on Saturday. Well, the former Swindon player and Wembley winner Alan McLaughlin is here to gauge his old club's chances. Uh, Alan, good to see you. Thank How you. will Swindon feel about getting Charlton in the semis? Well, it's pressure, but they're going to have to obviously contain that and just play well on the night. They've got to take the momentum, be strong, be bold and play attacking football. If they do that, they've got a great chance of going through. Yeah, Danny Wilson's playing the underdogs tag. Yeah. Do you believe him? Do you really think they're underdogs? Slightly. I think with the first leg being at home, that makes it difficult. But I think if they play like they've done all season, if they attack Charlton and be positive and handle the pressure, I'm pretty sure they can get the result they need, obviously, to go on to London. They often talk about form being the most important thing. The team that goes into the playoffs with the best form ends up going up. Swindon's one win in six. Is that a problem? They lost at Millwall on Saturday. I, I, I honestly don't think so. I think it's... When you're in there, it's about who handles the pressure, and it doesn't matter about form. Four teams, any one of them teams can actually make it. Yeah, I mean, they were a little bit unlucky on Saturday. They conceded a penalty. Uh, there was an own goal as yeah. well. Should we read too much into that? No. I don't think so. I've seen enough of Swindon this year to convince me they've got enough players that can score goals, they've got a great midfield, uh, they've been solid at the back, so I really do expect on Friday night it's going to be rocking at the county ground. That, like I said, it's about being positive, and I don't think Danny's team know any other way than playing positive football. Now, I mentioned before, Wembley winner. Well, it was 20 years ago, believe it or not, that you me. scored at Wembley. <laughs> Swindon were promoted. So what's the key to getting the playoffs right? It's keeping that form. And, and that's what it's about. It's, it's handling the pressure. It, it's being positive in, in your play. And that's what Danny, I think, he's got. He's got experience. He's an experienced manager. He knows it. He knows how to handle the players. And it's about the players performing and standing up you know, when it needs to come. And, and I think that will be Friday. And I anticipate Swindon getting to the final. I really do. Hope you're right. Thanks for very Thank much you. for coming. More excitement and drama to come for Swindon Town. They're at home to Charlton. That's on Friday in the playoff for semi-final first leg. Well, tickets went on sale today. Sales were pretty brisk. And the fans are rewarded for their patience with a sweet or two while they queued. Some for up to two hours. This weekend is a real cliffhanger for Swindon Town. Yes, they're in the playoffs for a place in the championship. Matthias is at the county ground now. And Matthias, this is important for the club, but also for the whole town as well, isn't it? Yes, well, that's the wider effect that sporting success can have. I mean, a football club like this can be the very embodiment of a town like Swindon. And uh, in about an hour and a half's time, this place is going to be packed to the rafters for kickoff. But I've been here all day, and this is all that everybody's talking about. Roll up, roll up for the hottest ticket in town. Swindon Town is buzzing with excitement. It knows this could go down as a night to remember. Occasions like this can lift spirits, and not just on the terraces. Swindon's been gripped by playoff fever. Um, since Sunday, you've had people queuing around the block for tickets um, for sort of four or five hours at a, at a time to try and just get a ticket for either Charlton at home or Charlton away or both. Um, I mean, it's the first time Swindon have been in the playoffs since 2004, and everyone's just gone crazy for it after such a good season. And who would have thought this possible? Swindon Town were almost relegated at this point last season. And now they're just two games away from a final at Wembley, where they're the only professional team in England never to have lost a game. Swindon's footballers play the first leg of their playoff semi-final. The match is at the county ground and David Passmore is there. Good evening, David. Hi, Alex. Yes, the atmosphere is already building. All the fans here. Issued with these clappers, every seat in the ground's got them. Give us a quick noise. Excellent. Yes, it's Swindon versus Charlton here tonight. The second leg is at Charlton on Monday. The winners will play Millwall or Huddersfield at Wembley in the final. The ultimate prize, of course, promotion to the championship. Now, Swindon are no strangers to promotion and relegation issues. From 1986, when they went up, there were the scandals of the 1990, the disastrous spell in the Premier League in 93-94, and they continued to yo-yo. More recently, it's been a bit quieter, dropping down and then bouncing straight back up again three years ago.
ago. Now, that time frame is relevant because this man, Rob Hartley, hasn't missed a game in all that time. Rob, how many games is that? It's 1,294, David, so um, it's 24 complete seasons and a couple of games on top. So. And what proportion of good games against bad? Oh, you'd be going all day long trying to work them out. But no, I, I mean, you come for the joy of it. So you don't look for the, uh, the goods and the bad. The, the bad always weighs itself out at some point in the future with one of those lovely days like we had against Leeds earlier this season. Rob, plenty more from Rob and Phil King, former player, shortly. But first, let's get Jeff Twentyman's take on how he sees this tie going. Both league meetings ended as draws. Two all at the Valley and one apiece at the county ground. You can understand why they're expecting a tough game in the home camp. They've got players who've played at the top level for long, long periods of their careers, you know, so it won't be easy, you know, and um, I think, you know, being at home here, you know, I think we've earned a bit of respect from other teams, but it doesn't make it any easier. Um, in fact, it might make it a bit more tougher because they'll, they'll know what to expect from us. Um, but we certainly will we'll offer them a lot of respect, you know, um, as much as you can in, uh, in the premises of, of, of a game, but we know that, the, that the, we are capable of beating them. Well, Charlton don't possess a Billy Painter or a Charlie Austin in terms of goal quantity, but striker Dion Burton and midfielder Nicky Bailey have both scored 13 goals. They'll have to be nullified. Well, the omens are good for Swindon's John Paul McGovern. His mum, who's a big fan and a lucky charm, will be cheering him on at 7.45. She's been down a few times and she's not seen us, us lose yet, so long may that continue over the weekend. Uh, Mum's always listening on the radio every weekend if she's not at the game. Um, give, give me the advice and, and tell me what the boys are saying, whether it's good or bad. Um, so hopefully we can give them plenty, plenty of good things to talk about. Well, it's going to be close, but I expect Swindon to take a small advantage to the Valley on Monday. Then the fun will really begin. Jeff Twentyman, BBC Points West. So, Phil King, how do you think this one's going to go? It's going to be tight, Dave. Uh, yeah, Charlton are a very good side, and we've played them twice, obviously, this year, and drew both times. Um, but I think the playoffs goes out the window. It's kind of like a cup tie in many ways. Um, I think if we approach the game in the right manner and attack them from the first minute to the last, I think we've got a great chance of picking up a victory here tonight. Now, if we can see some action here, now when Swindon beat Leeds uh, back at the start of April, um, Swindon playing in blue here, they were in great form, but since then, uh, they've won only one in six. That's right. Well, if they can recreate the, the, the form they showed on that night against Leeds, I think we'll probably get the same result, 3-0. But uh, they've had a bit of a dip in form, but I think that goes out the window tonight. It's all about what you do tonight. And if they can get amongst them from the first minute to the last and set a high tempo and play the football we know they can play, I think we're on for a good, good game of football and a great, a great result. Rob, uh, to you, do you think they can do it? Have they got the good form going in? Absolutely. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt that this team is capable of doing absolutely anything, and they've shown that all through the season. The results we've picked up, both at home and, and away from home, gives us every confidence. We've got to go in there buoyant, optimistic. It's a real chance to go and, uh, go and put our name in lights again. And you're hoping for one more game after Monday's game? It'd be nice to get back to Wembley. When we've got a 100% record, so there's that to keep up as well. So, um, yeah, it'd be lovely to get to Wembley once more. Excellent, gentlemen. Thanks very much yeah. indeed. Good luck for tonight and let you get on.